Right, so the idea behind the uh, boardroom project was to treat this fantastic room that looks quite conservative uh, in really an academic way. So what we did uh, was to go back into history, we tried to figure out uh, what this room actually looked like uh, in the 20s when it was created. So we refurbished all the furniture, we uh, painted the walls back to, its, uh, to the original colors, uh, and then we really wanted to uh, use the historical material uh, in, in an academic way. So what we did was instead of exchanging basically anything, uh, without throwing anything out, uh, we decided to add different layers. Uh, so what we do is to take the original and then add layer after layer. And the uh, idea behind that is really to treat this room uh, as a great artistic artifact uh, and also use different layers into making it more contemporary uh, and also uh, enabling others to understand what this room is really all about. My work somewhere else here really <coughs> found its home finally. And it's really nice that it's here in this boardroom. It works really with a, in a historic way with these uh, paintings of old men here and also in the future with the students. And that's really nice that it's um, work with the space and the scale. So here uh, the photograph is the same size as the table, which it makes it more uh, humorous and more fun than I used to show it, smaller. So uh, that really add a layer of, uh, I think, playfulness and humor and also maybe creative feeling for the board members here. As a freshman, the boardroom is one of the most significant and one of the first places what you encounter before you meet the president to officially become a part of SSE. And the boardroom project clearly signals that Stockholm School of Economics is an inclusive space which encourages reflection both on oneself but also on one's future position in the world of business and society at large. So, for example, I took my students in the master program, in the SAMS program here at SSE. I took them here uh, during a seminar about gender and representation. And we walked around, we looked at the pieces of art, and of course that's really different to look at a piece like that instead of just reading a theory or doing an ordinary business case. This becomes like material, real, in a completely different way. And it really creates very interesting, heated discussions about gender and representation. So one of the things we wanted to do was to disperse the information about the boardroom project. So we created both a web page and a publication about the room. Uh, in it we have reflective essays about the old artworks, the history of the building, of the room, as well as the new artworks uh, by Bella Rune and Maria Friberg. We also have a corresponding web page where we have a lot of information about the room as well. <laughs>